Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Dylan Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. In today's video, what we're going to be discussing is Lionel Messi is basically a cheat code in the MLS Cup. Let me explain. For those of you who do not watch soccer or football, uh, basically, as you kind of grow up and want to play soccer in America, you can play in the MLS, the Major League Soccer. Uh, if you get even better, you can go overseas and play for countries. That is whenever you have met your peak potential of you have made it as an elite soccer player. The MLS, on the other hand, has been more of a slipped on league. Not really a lot of perennial legends are going to be known for playing in the MLS. But what did Lionel Messi do? He's been playing overseas most of his life. He's been playing in, I believe, Barcelona. Argentina is his home country. He went back there, won a championship or won a cup for that country. Great things. But now he's come here to the MLS, joined Miami. And it's like not even fair for the other teams because he's just, like I said, a literal cheat code. We're going to break it all down. But before we go on, if you go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you drop a like. And without further ado, let's get into it. Now, let me give you a quick rundown of his entire career to kind of give you an understanding as why I'm calling him a cheat code. To start off, the guy has been playing uh, soccer, football, whatever you want to call it, since he was a literal child. I'll put some of the stats up on screen, but he played with Barcelona most of his life, ever since he was probably like a teenager all the way up until his uh, younger 30s, I believe. Here in the past couple years, he ended up switching over and playing for his home country, Argentina, helping them win a World Cup. Now, when you play for your country, you are pretty much, in a way, a gold or a Olympic player. Think of it like this. You have your inner soccer players for the MLS, all the different teams for this league. What they are is pretty much like, say, the NBA is for America. And every year you have the NBA who you take some of the better players in the NBA, they go overseas, and they play as USA against other teams, other countries. So other countries like Russia, China, uh, Australia could be something. But now you have Lionel Messi who is going from playing with Barcelona and Argentina. And he's coming now over here and playing on a small little MLS club. Just one club out of the MLS. So there could be a lot of great players. Don't get me wrong. There could be a lot of great players throughout the entire MLS. But him being on one team is just making this not fair. I'm going to go ahead and put up his stats on screen so you guys can see everything. This man was, has just been an elite player for Inter Miami. Like, let's go ahead and go one by one each game. Uh, start off with the very first game, won the game, won the two. His second game, they won 4-0. Third game, won 3-1. The next game, it says a tie. I don't really understand that, why soccer can end in ties. And then here, as of late, they've won 4-0. And then against Philadelphia, they just won 1-4. At the time of recording this, it was last night. I did actually kind of watch that game. It was pretty cool. But now let's kind of go over the goals. Every single game that he's had here in the League Cup. The first game, he had a goal. The second game, he had two goals. The third game, he had two goals. The fourth game, he had two goals. And then the last two games, he's had a goal in each one. I don't know about y'all, but last time I checked, I thought soccer was supposed to be the sport that most of the time the games will end in 0-0 draws or 1-0, maybe a 2-0, 2-1 score. This man is going out here and getting a goal a night, sometimes two goals a night, like it's just taking candy from a baby. Some of the things that make him so incredible as a player as he is, is just the way he knows how to understand the sport, the things he can do on the sport, the way for the penalty kicks, whether it's an assist, getting it downfield, spacing his players out, getting some separation for his teammates to maybe go get them one of a goal. He's quickly become probably, in my opinion, one of the smartest players when it comes to his sport. And somebody in the comments or somebody out there is probably saying, well, it's not that hard to play soccer. All you do is just go up and down the court. Just The only goal is just get the ball into the goal, which that is the only goal. But there's so many little things that you can go on within a game that Messi just, he's always looking and he's watching and he's trying to figure out ways to where whether it's him being the one scoring or getting a teammate set up to score, he's just so incredible at it. I do want to go ahead and show you guys one of the goals that did happen last night. And like, just, just take a second and watch this goal of his and tell me, how is this fair? Time to turn into Messi, advantage play. Messi driving forward, Messi from distance! Now I know we see people making goals like this within the MLS in a routine basis, but it's usually always a different player doing it. Messi himself can do it almost every night if he wanted to. Now let's get one thing straight when it comes to Lionel Messi. Do I think he came to America come to inner miami for a full-time position here in inner miami there's a good chance do i think he came to the mls for a challenge no i think at this point in his career 
He's, I believe, 36, 37 years old. He's probably looking for maybe he's trying to go for another World Cup whenever things come back around for him to go overseas, maybe go back to Argentina. We'll see how his career goes. But I think at this point in the career, no offense to the MLS, I think he's looking for just like this easy, just having fun type of game. He's not trying to go out there and have to sweat and scratch and claw and fight for the very last second to get a goal to try to win the game for his team. He's trying to have fun. He's trying to enjoy playing soccer once again. Because I'm gonna tell you what, if I had to spend 15, 20 years, every single game, everybody's looking at you. You need to help us win. And now he's with the team towards like, hey, he can make it with this kind of competition. He can go out there and get you a goal. It's just going to come down to can somebody else get a goal and everybody else can get a goal. If he can go out there and just sprinkle in himself a goal and use his expertise of helping set up some assists for some other guys, it's easy wins for them. Now for the rest of the season, what does this mean? I believe they have the finals coming up. I think it's Nashville who they play. That's going to be an exciting game. Probably going to win that game. It'll be fun. I think I'll try and sit down and watch that game. Try to have some fun. Like I said, I watched the Philadelphia game. It was fun. I'll try to sit down and watch the Nashville game. But moving forward, like I said, I think this is more of just a, a break in his career to just try and relax. Have fun playing soccer. He got his family. Now are living in Miami. Great life. His kids are happy. His wife's happy, I believe. And like, come on, who couldn't be happy living in Miami? Come on. But other than that, like I said, let me know. Do you think this was a fun thing for uh, Lionel Messi, a fun experiment for the MLS, bringing one of the probably the face of soccer across the entire world oversee, over here into the America and branding him as basically like the face of the MLS? Let me know your opinions down in the comments. I'd be more than welcome to hear what you all think. But other than that, that's really all I got to discuss for today's video. If you did go on to enjoy, make sure you drop a like. Helps out a lot. It's free. It costs nothing. Let me know if you enjoyed today's video by just dropping a like. And if you're brand new to the channel and you enjoy anything from it when it comes to sports content or you just enjoy this video in general, if you any enjoy anything from soccer to football, NFL, hot, uh, college football, NBA, as football season heats up, we're going to get really lit on this channel, talking a lot of football, talking a lot of basketball when basketball season heats up, and then baseball when the postseason kicks off. It's going to be fun here on the channel. So if you want to stay tuned for that kind of stuff, Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, let you know the second I post a new video. It's free, come on, what, what's gonna hurt you? And also if you want just like a different variety of content, I do make TikToks. If you wanna go over and follow my TikTok, the link is in the description down below. But without further ado, this has been Dylan Talk Sports. Have a great day, peace.